Hi folks. Alright, so what I'm working on now on our laser project is trying to build some mirrors. So I've been working on different ways to try to mill out these mirrors from larger chunks of uh, mirror material like you see right here. This little tiny disc right here was what I've been able to accomplish so far. It's the right size for the mirror that I need. It's a true silver backed mirror, so hopefully this will work. If not, we're going to go on to something a little bit different. Uh, you can see here at the penny, just the size comparison is quite a bit smaller than a penny. And this is a little tiny disc. If I can get that up without putting too many fingerprints on it. You can see here, a little tiny mirror and there's slight little nappings against the edges. So hopefully that doesn't create a bunch of prism effects uh, or, you know, random uh, light events obscured in every angle. So that's our piece of mirror that I've been able to cut out here and I'm going to show you just how I did Alright, so I want to take you through exactly how I was able to put together such a small little mirror, how I was able to build it without fracturing this larger piece of mirror material. First of all, you're only going to need a little chunk, so you can fracture off an edge here. Let me do that real quick with a pair of pliers. Let's see if we can't get a little chunk off of there. At least that's smaller than what I started with. Alright, so we have a little section of mirror here, and what we're going to do is use two of these. These are little... Uh, washers that you use for fi fixing a sink in your house. You can go down to any hardware store and buy those. So I've taken one of those, I've set it on top of the mirror just like that. Make sure there's a little bit of mirror poking out on all sides of it. If you flip that over now, I've I got another one of these. So you got one on one side, you flip it over, you put the other one on the other side. And you get them lined up. That's going to be the hard part is making sure they're lined up evenly on both sides of that mirror. And then I used a pair of pliers just like this. And I was able to hold compression against those two washers with that section of mirror in there. And then I used just a standard grinder, like a metal grinder, and I was able to shape the mirror around these two washers and be able to use that to keep some compression against the glass so it doesn't fracture up into the mirror very far. And it really did do a good job minimalizing the, uh, the napping or the fracturing against the edges. So that was a simple way I found to do it. Once you've rotated through with your grinder and cut most of the edge off, it's really kind of a simple thing just to be able to turn it a little bit, readjust, and now your mirror is sitting at a different angle and once again you just readjust and your mirror is sitting there and you can actually mill the whole thing down with a nice metal grinder. I used a handheld version of one of those to create this mirror. So now that mirror is ready to go to sit inside of one of these rings. And it's just going to sit just past the edges of the inside core or that hollow opening in the inside of that uh, flexible ring there, that washer that we're going to use. So there we go, that's where the mirror is actually going to set. You can see there the reflective capabilities of that true silver mirror. Uh, that's going to be able to be now smashed between our back plate here which will actually sit behind that just like that with the mirror more centered than it is obviously there in the shot and that will go up down to the back of our laser and this will give us our 100% mirror. Alright folks, so what we're doing right now is aligning our tubes all the way down the system here with a laser to get our alignment in these tubes here all the way so that there's no twist in any of them and that the end laser spot coming out the center of the half inch pipe is going to be exactly the same as the laser spot entering the half inch pipe on the other side. And right now if I carefully do this here without bumping anything, if I stick that down in there you can see I've got a laser beam showing on that ruler there. That laser beam is perfectly centered, so that way it uh, will go right down the center of the tube. And the way I did that is just use the ruler right up against the tube, found dead center there, and set the ruler up, or the laser up, so it hit the ruler right on the measurement I was looking for. And then I removed the ruler and let it shoot down the tube. And once again, over here, if I put the ruler up there, you'll see a laser light coming out of the center of that tube right there. That's allowing us to focus the center and I once again I held the ruler up there, got dead center until the laser was right on the mark on the ruler that I was looking for. And so right now I'm just making sure it stays centered, you can see that reflection there. I'm making sure it stays centered while the glue dries. So every about half hour I'm going to walk over and just make sure everything still looks good. So that's basically all I'm doing right now is just firing a laser all the way down the center of the tubes, all the way down the center of the glass here. And making sure that I've got my center points all ready to go, that the laser height is equal to the height right here at the tube on both sides, not all the way at the end. So I'm, I'm, I found the height right here at the tube where it sits, uh, height wise right there in the center. And then I've actually brought that up to that same height on the end, adjusted my laser to the same height. And so everything's just shining nice straight line all the way down. So let me let that dry and I'll show you exactly what it looks like when it's completely dried. 
All right, folks, so we need a piece of cardboard now cut out for the back flange where we're actually going to start aligning our mirrors now in our laser. And what this does for us is gives us a perfect center right here. And what I've done to create that perfect center is used a ruler. I went down the natural straight edge of this little flimsy piece of cardboard here that you see. It's a single layer thick. I went down the edge. I found one inch. My actual diameter of the round circle that the uh, mirror will sit against my pressure plates of brass bushings in there are actually one inch across, even though they're circular. So I've drawn a one inch by one inch box all the way around here and just made sure to get it all nice and square. And then in the end, what I've done, you see this crisscross pattern here. You can just draw from corner to corner on your perfectly drawn one inch by one inch box and you'll get a nice centering. You can even go up uh, two of the lines here, measure your half inch marker on either side and draw a line straight across just to verify that you've got your perfect center. What I need to do now is cut this little square out what we're going to do is mount this to the back end of the laser, or the front end actually of the laser. We're going to put a little tiny pinprick hole, which I'll do here for you in this drawing. I'm going to use uh, just a little nail here with a very, very small head on it. I'm actually going to set a, a little chunk of paneling underneath this piece of cardboard. That way I don't rupture through too far. I can actually control my pinprick here. And very, very carefully, what I'm going to do is find dead center here on my drawing and make one tiny hole. All right, so now that we got that little hole punched in, let me hold it up to the camera so you can actually see. Maybe we can get an alignment and see some of the black be behind there. Maybe I can get my finger to show up if I get the angle just right. There we go. So you can see there's a little tiny hole right through the centering right there. We're going to use that little hole to actually align our uh, mirror setup here. So let me go ahead real quick and cut this out. And I'll show you exactly how we're going to mount this to the back of the mirror. All right, folks, so here's what we're going to do. You can see here I've got that little tab that I showed you in the previous video. We've got a hole in the center, and I've applied one tiny little strip of duct tape to one side of it. Let me go ahead and stand up here so I can get this right. What we're going to do here is go ahead, bring that in in front of our laser hole here, and we're going to get these edges perfect. Since this is should be an exact match to the one-inch diameter, of the hole there that I should be able to just line it up. Oh, we knocked it out there. Give me just a second. My fingers are in the way. Get this perfectly aligned. We should be able to just to apply that piece of tape down just like that. And now let me grab a second piece of tape. We'll throw that one over the top. Make sure everything's aligned. And there we go. All right, so right now I have that little laser pointer there on my mount set up. If I zoom in here, you should be able to see the laser dot. Oh, camera went out of focus there. Give me a second. Okay, so you should be able to see the laser dot right there in the center. It looks like it's just slightly low. Pretty close, though. So that's allowing our laser to penetrate all the way down the tube right now and interact with the mirror at the very far side of it. Uh, what I've done at the far side now is... Give me a second to grab the camera. Alright, so what I've done here is I've got our mirror placed that I just showed you how to make. I've got our mirror placed inside the gap right here. And I've got these screws all set up, so I'm slowly tightening each one of them. Even the third one down here, I'm slowly tightening each one of the nuts on there. So I can adjust the flex of the mirror. So I'm pitching it just slightly with each one of my turns. And what it's doing right now is actually taking that laser beam that's coming from this direction, reflecting off the mirror, and the laser's going all the way back right now. And what you do to align it is you can actually see the laser on this face. When it hits off the mirror at the opposite side, you actually see the laser inside of right here reflecting into this face somewhere. And you slowly adjust the back screws until the laser goes down into the hole. And you watch down here at the little pinprick hole to see when you can actually see the focus up of the two lines. And you know you've got your laser, all your mirrors at least, uh, correctly aligned. We've got our tubing aligned. So everything's ready to go now. I've actually got our mirror uh, in the back now adjusted. It took a while to kind of get that line. All right, so we're ready to go. We've got our laser all aligned now. I've tightened everything down on the back side here. Well, if we could see the laser beam inside the tube, obviously it'd be a lot easier. But all you look for, like I said, was the reflection on the opposite side. I've got this now aligned. We're ready to go. That's a simple trick to be able to align your laser with that little pinprick hole that you make in a piece of cardboard. Make sure you got a dead center there on it. And you fire your laser down that hole all the way back to the rear mirror. 
and you make sure everything will line all the way back up to it. Uh, let me go ahead now and start constructing our front mirror and we'll go into aligning that. Alright folks, I'm going to throw this in here at the end. Uh, I tried to actually permanently mount some of my PVC down and I shifted my alignment slightly so I'm going to realign it. I wanted to show you this why I have very minimal light inside the house. You can see I'm firing the laser right at that little hole that we made in that piece of cardboard. You can see the lines on the piece that I drew out there. We've got that perfectly centered. What's happening right now is that laser beam is actually firing all the way down the tube here. All right, Now it's bouncing off of that mirror and reflecting all the way back to right there. So you can see the laser beam being distorted in that little ridge. It's a little depression in the glass right there. It's right where it's hitting. Uh, that's here. Let me move this around just slightly so you can see that. If I shift this laser, it'll shift that just a bit. All right, so you're going to want to get it so the laser is about as bright as it can be. That means you've got a good solid focal reflection. And then you're going to walk down over here and you're going to take your pair of pliers you're going to slowly adjust these bolts or these nuts on the ends of these bolts and that will actually pull this little dot that you're looking at right there right up into the center of that tube. And that's how you get your alignment. So once again you just fire the laser right there at that piece of cardboard at a little tiny hole in the cardboard. Make sure it's all lined up. That'll fire all the way down here. Let me go ahead and move this around just a bit so you can see that. So there's the laser dot right there. Alright, now if I come back down here, there's our laser dot down there. The lower one that you see here, that's actually the reflected dot. So we're going to go ahead now and align that mirror once again, just to put it back into center. Now that we've got all our PVC permanently mounted after our first test alignment. So I want to throw this in at the end, folks. I hope you enjoyed.